From a robot that is coming for my job, all the way to one that might be coming for yours. Here are the top 10 real robots that are hiding among us. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have Atlas. This robot was designed by Boston Dynamics, and it is the back flipping humanoid robot you've probably seen doing parkour on Reddit. Yeah, it's the most terrifying thing that I can't look away from. This robot uses depth sensors in order to achieve real time perception, and it even has predictive abilities to improve its motion. There are three computers on board Atlas as well as 28 hydraulic joints, and all of this combined is the technology that allows it to jump and flip all over the place so gracefully. Atlas stands at 5 feet tall and it weighs 190 pounds and it is able to move at speeds over 5 miles per hour. Atlas' main purpose at the time is to be used by the company's roboticists in order to research and design how to increase and improve the agility and coordination of Atlas and similar robots, as well as to make it even more human. Like. In our number 9 spot today, we have Ameca. Ameca comes from the company Engineered Arts, and it is one of their most advanced humanoid robots, and this says a lot considering the company focuses on engineering, designing, and manufacturing humanoid robots. Ameca possesses the capability of tracking movement across an entire room, and even has both facial and vocal recognition capabilities. This means that she has no trouble interacting with humans and even remembering them. Ameca is able to detect emotions as well as age, and is even able to communicate different common expressions. It can be surprised, it can yawn, shrug, you name it. In our number 8 spot today, we have Nadine. Nadine is known as an empathetic robot as it has the ability to return greetings, Nadine will make eye contact, and Nadine also remembers all conversations that have been had with her, which is kind of terrifying when you really think about it. Imagine getting in an argument with Nadine. She'll tell you exactly what you've said, how you said it, and the timestamp you said it at. Nadine has all of the receipts. Nadine is said to have their own personality, they convey moods and emotions, and the face and hands are actually actually designed after a real person. The design was created by the Japanese company Kokoro, and they made them in the likeness of Nadine's creator, Nadia Talman. A visit with Nadine can have you shaking hands with the robot, and if you've met before, Nadine might even pick up your conversation where you last left off. Nadine can normally be found at their job, working at AIA Singapore, which is an insurance company. Nadine works as a receptionist. In our number 7 spot today, we have Armar 6. This robot was designed and developed in Germany by researchers at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. The aim of the development of this robot was to create it in a way where it could work in industrial settings. This means that this robot is capable of using different tools, like drills and hammers and so on. Armar is also equipped with technology that allows them to learn how to properly hold objects, as well as how to hand them over to human co-workers. This robot also serves as a great workshop assistant, as it can take on the responsibility of smaller duties, like wiping down surfaces and other tidying tasks. My favorite part of this robot's design, however, is that it even has the ability when needed to just ask for a little help. In our number 6 spot today, we have Geminoid DK. This humanoid robot is the result of a collaboration between a private Japanese firm and Osaka University, which was overseen by the university's director of their intelligence robotics laboratory. It is said to have taken 9 months to create this robot, which to be honest, doesn't seem like a lot when we're talking about this level of artificial intelligence. This robot was actually created to be an artificial twin of Heinrich Scharf, who is a Danish professor. The robot not only looks like him, but has behavior inspired by his. The professor even donated strands of his own hair to be used in the wig made for the robot. The main aim in this creation was to make it as human-like and realistic as possible, and it apparently worked. People have claimed that this robot sometimes gets mixed up with the real human it was modeled after. In our number 5 spot today, we have Biomni. Beyond Imagination created this robot as a way to transform healthcare, agriculture, hospitality, security, logistics, and more. This robot is in a stage where it is learning. This means that it is remotely controlled by humans wearing virtual reality headsets, while the AI helps the robot to learn tasks so that one day it can be fully autonomous. The CEO and co founder of Beyond Imagination explained that he hoped Biomni would be able to change the kind of care 
that older adults receive, while also helping to take on more dangerous areas of other jobs and other industries. Beyond Imagination even struck up a deal with Self Labs, which is a company that wants to use robots to work in agriculture grow boxes that are connected to a simulated farming game. The deal between these two companies will see Beyond Imagination supplying Self Labs with a thousand humanoid robots in the next five years. In our number four spot today, we have Junko Chihira. Junko was created by Toshiba and it is a realistic looking humanoid robot. In the beginning, when created, Junko was only able to respond to things with a pre scripted and set speech, but since 2017, the robot has now gained the ability to recognize speech and they are utilizing this to have her answer tourist questions. The hope isn't for Junko to only be able to be used this way, however. Researchers plan for Junko to expand from service industries into healthcare as well. Junko stands 5 feet 5 inches tall and is said to resemble someone around 26 years old. The chief specialist of Toshiba's research and development center also explained that the hope is to incorporate this system with any kind of language processing system. In our number 3 spot today we have Jia Jia. Jia Jia was China's first humanoid robot and was created by the University of Science and Technology's research team. This robot has the ability to hold a conversation even with a person using little to no facial expression and this is due to the help of speech generation algorithms and facial recognition technologies. It is said that there are definitely some kinks to work out when it comes to how smooth the conversation is with the robot, but this doesn't stop people from being absolutely fascinated at how realistic and human like it looks. It is said that during creation there was a heavy focus on Gia Gia's eyes so that it could catch gestures, recognize emotions, recognize people's behavior and so on. So the creators are sure with a little more tweaking, the speech should be right up to par. And they also want to add features that will allow the robot to be able to cry and laugh as well. In our number 2 spot today we have Kime. Mako Robotics created this robot bartender that surely is coming for my part time job. This robot has the ability to pour beers, serve coffee and even snacks and other food items. This kiosk like robot is able to dispense 253 items per hour and even has a touch screen as well as an app where people can order. There's even a built in payment system so all I'm saying is that this robot is fully a more efficient server than I am. Although I I will say, this robot is not nearly as interesting to spill all of your week's worries to. You'll still need a good old fashioned human bartender for that. This robot is even able to recognize regular customers, so there's no more awkward encounters where a guest thinks you remember them and goes, I'll get my usual, and then you have to try and like scramble and figure out what the hell their usual is. In our number one spot today, we have Sophia. Perhaps the most famous humanoid robot and said to be one of the most advanced ever created, Sophia was debuted in 2016. Sophia was designed by the Hong Kong based company Hanson Robotics and they designed her to look like Audrey Hepburn because they were aiming to use her as an old age companion in nursing homes or even as a crowd manager for larger events. Sophia made quite a name for her robotic self when she became the world's very first robotic citizen. Sophia has neural networks and AI that gives it the ability to recognize human faces and understand emotions and gestures. The hope in creating Sophia was to make a robot that can gain social skills and it seems as though Sophia can do just that. Alright guys that has been our list for today, thanks so much for checking it out, I've been your host today Olivia Kozlowski and I'll see you again soon, bye!